Herzlich willkommen. Welcome to episode 7 of our information series, Basics of Electrostatics. With this information series, we want to share our know-how about electrostatics with you to make electrostatic applications safer. Sicherer zu machen. Yeah. As you can already saw in the intro, we switched up the roles today. In our last video, we looked at the plate electrode where the ball was bouncing back and forth. There we simulated what happens during the process of flocking. We announced that we are going to do something practical today, a real application used in the industry. And because flocking is your specialty, I'm handing over to you. Thanks Olaf, we heard something about the theory in the last video. As we already mentioned, today we want to show real application of electrostatics, something that is already in use since a long time ago. Therefore I prepared something, I go quickly and get it. Here we go. It's a bottle opener. I coated the handle with a special adhesive so that the flock fibers get a very good adhesion. The flock fibers are made of polyamide. In this case we use black flock fibers by the company Velitex. With 3.3 DTEX and 1 mm in length. 3.3 DTEX is the thickness of the fiber. That means that the white of 10 kilometers off that fiber in 3.3 grams. So it's very light as you can see. Now I'm going to put the bottle opener in this flocking unit. And here is what is going to happen. The flock is laying on the ground. The metal grid is the electrode to which I will later apply high voltage. And this causes the flock fibers to be lifted up from the ground, fly through the electrode and then stick to the adhesive. If the fibers wouldn't stick to the glue instantly, they will jump up and down all the time until they finally stick or the process ends. Because of the field and glue, the fibers stay aligned. And what we're probably going to see is the wrap around. That means if you're not turning the opener, in the beginning, we are going to see that there is flock on the backside too. Although the field only comes from the underside. Exactly. You already explained that in another video. So, I'm going to start now and you can see what is happening. I'm still rolling now, even though we've seen that the flock is also already on the back. The good thing is that it is not possible to flock too much. Once the adhesive is full, flock fibers simply cannot be taken. As we can see, this also means that we still have excess flock on the surface. This will be cleaned off later and most of it can already be carefully tapped off. I'll show it to the camera. As you can see the flock is where the glue was. The excess flock fibers, what you can see on the wood for example, will be removed later. For optimal bending of the flock fibers on the bottle opener, the adhesive must be dried. That's why I'm handing it over to Olaf. He has a small oven over there. We hang it in the oven, and after a few hours it will be dry and ready for use. Okay, put it in and close the oven. That was flocking in the simplest way to show how it works. Good. Ich hoffe. Cool. I hope it was informative and exciting. By the way, flock is a great finish for surfaces, especially for 3D printed objects. We do a lot of these internally here at our company. Because it looks great and feels good, it's something everybody should experience. The next video will be very exciting. We are going to do a small explosion. We are going to use a pop tube to show how lit electrostatic is enough to ignite an explosion. Especially in the chemical area where an explosive atmosphere is oftentimes given. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. We're looking forward to seeing you next time.